Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Omzi 2 and today I'm going to be showcasing something very exciting, a project that I've been keeping an eye on and I'm sure many of you have on Fellows Film as well. Uh, today we're going to be looking at beta version 1.0 of Oakford. I'd like to thank Dan for allowing us access to start showcasing his route, his map uh, to you guys and uh, what we're going to do over the next couple of days. There will be videos today and tomorrow and then on Sunday we are going to live stream some routes and uh, you can ask a lot more questions and we can kind of all talk together about it, shall we say. So yeah, look, I'm really excited to do this. Uh, so what I've done, I thought we'd do the 91st. It takes about half an hour. Uh, but a little bit of info about Oakford. Oakford is a semi-fictional recreation of Oxfordshire, with many locations based on real-life places, including Abington, uh, Wantage, Grove, and a few other small villages. The main bus company is Oakford Bus Company. The main routes are Route 90 between uh, Sheepton and Oakford and the Route 55 between Wantage and Oakford, along with other shorter village routes. So there are quite a few routes here. Um, we've got the 87 Sheepton to East uh, Pagbid. Uh, we've got the 90 Sheepton to Oakfield through the villages. We've got the X90, which is the fast service, and we do have an SC1 school service. Uh, and then there is the 55 and the X55 up to Wantage. And then there, there is a school run up from Wantage to Oakfield School as well. So we've got plenty to be looking at at the moment. Uh, lots of buses are being used in this uh, so far. Most of them will be the SP 400 MMC 11.5 ADL. We've got the SP Lite 9.6. We've got the Sitaro 0530, the C200, the C400. Uh, we've got uh, a Street Deck Stealth, a Volvo B5 TL. Uh, we've got the Veiling, which is one I'm using today, which is the B7 RLE. Uh, we're on the Euro 4, there's also a Falcon for the Route 55. Uh, also there is the Enviro 200 8.9 on the 87-88 and obviously we've got a lovely Volvo B7 TL LX400 uh, on the 55 and, and looks like the uh, school runs as well. So there is so much for us to look at, uh, I'm really excited to get into this. I'm holding up traffic so we're here. Oh yeah we really are holding up some traffic, there you go. Actually I've been looking to see some of these 200s, look at that. I love these repaints. Uh, he is going into Sheepton on the 88. We will obviously take a look for that ourselves. Nice, nice, nice. I've seen some awesome pictures of this. And this is my first time even looking at the map as well. So I'm going to see everything for the first time, just like you guys. So what I will do first, look, the bus is kind of half turned on. Let's load in. Let's move it to the bus stop so the traffic can go past. Uh, we got a bit of time, so we can still talk. Uh, we're going to skip that then. So uh, just a pin, isn't it? So three, nine, two, two. There we go, we're just going to accept these. Perfect. Okay, let's turn the bus on then. Some lights going. Okay, this will be our first stop, I'm sure. Okay, so we can open up the door. I will need the route markers for this, obviously. But uh, yeah, it looks lovely. I love the livery on the 90. I love the kind of oranges and the reds. These actually, it's very similar to the color code I wanted to change uh, so they connect to. Very similar. Well, not quite the yellow, but I had the orange and the kind of darker red. Uh, obviously, I won't be doing that now. But um, cool. So yeah, it looks, looks really, really good. Really, really good. Now I just want to stress to you guys that this is still a work in progress map, this does not reflect the final project, um, I don't know any release dates or anything like that, I don't know when it might come out for you guys or if there's going to be more beaters before, I, I, I don't know any of these things so there's no point asking me as such, but you know hopefully uh, we'll get a good idea as we drive around. Uh, there are plans for future updates in version 2 as well, there are some new routes that want to be put in. Uh, so. It, looks like he wants to expand it as well which is really really cool really really nice and uh, yeah I really can't wait to drive this myself you need to get a nice picture for some screenshots for the old discord if any of you are not in the discord uh, link in the description down below all things OMSI related all things transport related as well man that looks so nice okay so shall we have a look at our little route then so here we go these are our stops for today we're starting in uh, Sheepton Market uh, and then we're heading all the way down to Oakford High Street on the arrival but yeah, it takes uh, 
Yeah, about half an hour. About half an hour. Not too bad. Be a nice little run this. Uh, tomorrow again, like I said, there will be a video, and then we will live stream some routes on Sunday. Look at all the different repaints, all the different buses, and uh, we'll go from there on the week ahead. So, awesome, 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 awesome. Also, guys, uh, over the weekend, I will be uh, doing some more videos on the Adstow project as well. The beta for that has been released. They did a video early in the week. There has been some changes and minor tweaks to it. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that as well. We'll be uh, showcasing a little bit more of the Adstow project as well. Okay, so we've got 25 minutes here. Um, we're leaving at 25 past, won't we? So look, let's just fast forward our time so we can get out there. Uh, there we go. More people. I'll be jubbly. Okay. I think we're pretty much good to get out of it. And what I will do, just move that out of the way of the mirror a little bit more. You know what, I'm going to put it up on this side. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get rid of it because it's a plug-in for uh, our BCS company. Uh, but anyways, okay, root markers as well. We need root markers. Lovely, so, the night we're going straight down. So I don't know if any of you have been around the kind of, uh, the Oxfordshire area. Uh, I live, I used to live quite close by, I used to have quite a lot of friends up that way. I've got high hopes for this. Uh, it's absolutely amazing that there's still so many maps and buses being produced for Omzi. It absolutely amazes me. It is awesome. I love the route markers as well. I love that they're in the colours. Sometimes I find with route markers, they all just kind of say they're just numbers. Sometimes I forget and get lost. I love that they, they're colour coded. Okay, I was just saying about colour coding, and it's like the X90. So we are going to be following all here. Uh, we're probably going to want to take this corner quite wide, like I would in real life. So what I'd probably do, it does look quite narrow, is wait for a bit of clear traffic and take up the road. V7's got a nice overhang on it. Don't forget to use your overhang. Make sure there's no cars coming. Stay wide. This is going to be quite tight. This is nice. Okay, so the depot seems to be up there to the right. Uh, we'll check that out probably in a live stream unless I find a service that starts from up there. And uh, this is the bus stop as well. Somebody wants to actually get off. Okay, there's two orange ones, one saying all, but the other one's the 90 going straight down. Fine. Maybe that's the way when you, you come back in.
but yeah, we might run a little bit behind. I'm trying to get some nice uh, pictures to share with everyone on Discord as well. I do apologise. Of course, uh, that Volkswagen was going to do that to me. We'll just look over here, pretend uh, we haven't just gone over the curb and through. Should have gone out, knew it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this little junction's a little bit confusing with the route markers because you think you gotta go there, but we are stopping here. <laughs> right. I hope so. Here you go, here's the power plant. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? We can get a nice, uh, nice pictures maybe. I've more the traffic behind me. Right, I'm assuming uh, we're going straight down. I, I imagine that's the 90 going back the other way.
swear that guy was going to get on. And uh, ignored the current delay at the top on the uh, driver client as well. Not the case.
Oh, nice. It's one of the blue livery uh, ones. I haven't seen that yet. Got a look. Yeah, Lex. Nice. Oh, might have just got in the screenshot. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to assume that we're going to the left here, right? That was a nasty one. They've got some nice uh, corners and tight roads on this. It uh, gives you a nice feeling of a challenge, but it's not like ridiculous like Smarden. Uh, nothing like Smarden, but you know, just that kind of challenge with the uh, tight bends. Like these are manageable, You've got the right speeds and. You know, you wait for your traffic like you should do in real life. Okay, so now it looks like we're coming into a town centre. So we've come out of the couple of villages we went into. And uh, went through the countryside and we were coming into the bigger town. Uh, it, it feels very... Oxfordshire, uh, driving a National Express up there for a long, long time. Okay, I think we're going in here, obviously. So no entry. How stupid can I be? Okay, so we're literally just going round, and it looks like we're parking up at the top there. This is the shopping centre. Okay, how many more stops we got in the town? So we're at the shopping centre, so we've got over the shops, we've got two more. But a bit on the floor it says no entry uh, and the two big red signs. Uh, don't ignore them like I just did. Okay, I uh, need my route markers back.
Ah, uh, nice. So we're coming into a, a high street now. Okay, so this is the arrival. It didn't pick up a bus stop back at uh, Pagbid Power Station. Um, but yeah, this is the high street. This is where our final stop would be before we literally would go back and uh, go round on ourselves. What I might do is just pull in a little bit. Might register it then. And that's fine. Uh, we'll get a nice little screenshot here. I said it is still a work in progress, but that was a nice little route. I really, really enjoyed that. I had good fun. Uh, I'm not sure what route we're going to do next now. I'm, uh, I'll have to have a look, see what we're going to do. Like I said, uh, we will do other stuff on the live stream on Sunday night. Uh, so don't miss that if you want to see some more of this. And uh, good time to you know talk about it, what we feel about it. But so far... I think it's looking absolutely superb. I love the roads. I love a little bit of a challenge. Um, it does have that Oxfordshire feel, um, which is obviously very important as it's uh, based on that area. Um, so yeah, look, if you are all new, do subscribe down below to the channel, hit that like button, uh, come join us in Discord. And a uh, big thank you again to Dan for allowing us uh, access to showcase this to you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have plenty more videos for you on this. Uh, but other than that for myself, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.